Yo, what's up, man? What's up, brother? Lamar. Just making a little errands. I'm getting closer to the day. Excuse me, I got a little red candy in my mouth. Oh, <clears throat> them cinnamon jacks be busting. Man, do it for your teeth, bro. Anyways, praise Yahuwah for the event um, that's about to happen uh, under the handiwork of the producers, executive producers of the major, major, major docu-series Reclaiming the Throne. Shout out to them, Chief Musha, Chief Yahusha. Um, very excited about what's coming for this weekend. If you ain't been tapped into D28 Productions, make sure y'all search D28 P R O D dot on YouTube, and you will find the YouTube page for D28 Productions. That YouTube page definitely need more subscribers. Why? Not for that dude, but for your own. Um, D28 is a very, very, very great production quality, um, um, informative, and revelatory. And life changing um, element for today's time and for our people um, and for everybody just to have this information because information is pivotal for the direction of where a people and the people will go when they have access to certain knowledge that's been hidden from us so we're very excited but to get down to the event man I'm very excited um, the closer and closer we get into it um, you know, it's 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 like a bittersweet thing because in you know, one aspect I'm a little nervous, but that, that's all the time. A lot of people always question how do I feel before I get ready to do any type of performances or anything like that. A lot of times I feel nervous off the rip, but I can honestly say I've gotten used to being before a crowd of people and being before different crowds of people, people that not necessarily where I'm at when it comes to things, people that are where I'm at when it comes down to certain things. And I've been in crowds where like um, in high school, doing like the um, banquets and stuff like that. I've performed before a lot of, you know, uppity, um, you know, uppity um, goyim, put it like that. But um, I'm very excited about this day. I'm very excited about it. I look forward to it. I know Yahoo is gonna do some major things. Um, in people paying attention so this event is gonna be special why because it's taking you through the experience that we went through through each age being here in america right so every generation had a different experience you could say um so what we're looking forward to is gonna be major it's gonna be a, a fashion show like a lot of people you know what i'm saying haven't experienced a fashion show i haven't you know, this will be my first one really being able to see. Um, there's going to be spoken word. I haven't been able to be at a real deal spoken word session. You know what I'm saying? So we get to have that. We're going to have people dancing. You're going to have each age. So, so if you was born in the 50s, in the, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, in the 2000s, it's going to be something for you. And all the way up until this day, to um to to give you that that cultural feel that uh prestigious feel that we had that um artistic and expressive feel that we had because we've been put down so long as a people and now we finally got to a point where we can express ourselves so i'm proud to announce that this weekend um february the 18th at in augusta georgia at maxwell theater um off of Walton Way, it's going to be major. There's a lot of people talking about coming. Um, it's not just going to be Hebrews there, but it's going to be people who's not necessarily awakened to our perspective of life. And um, I think it'll draw a lot of things and connect a lot of dots for people. So um, we look forward to seeing y'all there. I definitely want to give a major, major shout out to um, Morris Williams, um, very honorable man into Joshua Cullins, very honorable man for um, letting the work of their hands become what it's become. This this thing is is major, it's, it's won plenty of awards at this point. It's gotten a lot of recognition. Um, so we look forward to it consistent, being consistent in that very work and that very change in people's lives. So, hey, look, it's not too late. 
$25 at the door. That's not a lot of money when you're investing in something that's gonna be not just um, informative, but entertaining and grasping and could definitely shift your paradigm of your people. So look forward to seeing y'all, man. It's your brother Zamar. We here again. Again, shout out to D28 Productions. I'm very happy to be able to work with them and have my hand to the plow of their work. So hallelujah. May y'all be blessed. It's your brother Zamar. You run. Hallelujah. 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 Let's go. <laughs>
I'm gonna get up with y'all. Y'all have a good one. I'm gonna see y'all there. Man, I absolutely love these things too. I gotta throw this in the video. These they smoothie bowls at Humanistry. Bussin'. Bussin'. I don't know if they got a picture of it. No, they ain't got no picture, bro. But yeah. But yeah, man. Y'all definitely pull up, pull up, pull up. time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, today many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with, and this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our checks.